In part one of this project, we used MATLAB to develop an algorithm that can take inputs from a photoresistor and convert them to outputs on a servo motor. Now let's see how we can deploy that algorithm using Simulink. So far everything we've done requires MATLAB to be open. So it requires the Arduino to be plugged into the computer, requires a computer to be running MATLAB, and requires MATLAB to actually be um, executing and, and it's holding the execution thread of MATLAB as it runs. All right, and there's some applications where you might want to have MATLAB actively running while you're uh, talking to your Arduino, but there are also situations where you might want to have the Arduino programmed as a um, standalone device that doesn't need to be connected to a computer. And so if we want to do that, then we can't use the MATLAB support package because that requires an active communication with MATLAB, but we can use the Simulink support package to program the board independently so it doesn't require a computer. So to take a look at the Simulink support package, I'll again clear up all my variables in the workspace and my command window, and I'll open Simulink. And Simulink can be opened from the Simulink library button on the home tool strip. If you haven't seen Simulink before, Simulink is a model-based design environment uh, that's full of block libraries. So it's an environment where you can connect different blocks together um, to build systems, build models of systems, and simulate them. And we have a set of blocks here for the Arduino support package for Simulink. All right, and you can see just as we had functions in the MATLAB support package to read digital inputs, we have a digital input block. And just as we had functions to write a position on a servo motor, we have a, a standard servo write block here. So say I wanted to start building a model from scratch, I could uh, have the analog input block in a new model. All right, and I could have the server write block in that model as well. And then I could have some logic between them. It wouldn't write directly to it, right? I would have some sort of logic uh, that would convert that input into that servo write. Now in Simulink, if you want to connect to hardware, you can set up the hardware under the tools menu, run on target hardware. There's a prepare to run option. And this is where you can specify the device and the properties of that device that you want to connect to. In my case, the target hardware is the Mega 2550. And there are a set of properties that you can specify. Now, rather than build up the model from scratch, uh, I actually have a model that I've already written in advance. So I'll pull that one up. So you can see this model has an analog input block here connected to analog pin 0, and we have a uh, standard servo write block connected to digital pin 10, which is where the uh, servo is addressed on the motor shield. Right? And all the logic of the algorithm is actually done here in this block, which is a MATLAB function block. So Simulink has blocks to do all types of different logic, but one thing you can include in Simulink is MATLAB code. And if I look at this MATLAB function block, we can see it's actually the same contents as the gauge position function that I wrote earlier. Right? The only difference is there's a comment here which indicates uh, that we'll be generating code from this which gets deployed onto the board. So this function, as we, which we had earlier, takes the same inputs, uh, which is the light value from the photoresistor and the minimum value and range from the gauge. And then the output is the position to write to the servo motor. So this all behaves just like what we had in MATLAB, but now this is a block diagram representation of that algorithm. So let's open this webcam back up so we can see the device. And in Simulink, there's a few different ways you can run a model. Right? So we have a model here built. Um, most models that you're building to represent uh, a system in software, you'll run in normal mode or accelerator mode, right? But if you're connected to a physical hardware device, um, you can run in external mode, which means that these blocks here that connect to the external device actually give real inputs and outputs. So here it's preparing the model to run. 
and it actually builds the model up, generates code from it, deploys the code onto the Arduino board itself, and then begins running the model on the board. And so you can see it's begun to execute. And as I calibrate the dark value and the bright value, it starts uh, responding just as it did earlier, right? Now, because this is running in external mode, it's actually communicating it back into Simulink. So if I have these scopes in Simulink, I can actually see the values that are being written as they come in. External mode also allows for live parameter tuning. So if, for example, I felt that I wanted to change uh, this value in real time, I could apply some new values uh, to these blocks here. Right. So now it can go all the way to the far left on the gauge. I'll stop that and I'll replace the parameters that I had before. Now once again, running in external mode, I still do need to be connected to my computer and to Simulink, but it does provide a nice way, nice interface for live parameter tuning or checking um, the outputs that are coming in on different signals. So if I decide that this algorithm is built correctly, all my parameters are correct, and it's behaving the way that I expect, I can then deploy this to the hardware. So at this icon on the far right, I get a deploy to hardware option. And this compiles and builds the model and then deploys it onto the hardware so that it can run uh, without anything happening on my computer. All right, so once it's, it's deployed, it's running independently of Simulink, independently of MATLAB, and I can close MATLAB and close my computer even, and it will continue running. So you can see. behaving again as we expect. And now this algorithm is programmed onto the board. So Simulink is not running right now, or the model is not running in Simulink. And I could even unplug this from my computer, right, which powers down the Arduino, power it from some other external source. So here's a battery pack that I have. Right. And because this is programmed onto the board, it will behave as expected. So this is no longer attached to my computer. All right, so let's jump back into slides to understand everything that we've done so far. OK, so with this demo, I first used the MATLAB support package for Arduino to develop an algorithm that used a measured light value to control a servo motor. I then used the Simulink support package to build a Simulink model which could deploy this algorithm onto the hardware. Running the model in external mode enabled me to test the algorithm, enhance it, and do live parameter tuning. And once I decided that I had an appropriate model, I deployed it to the hardware so that it was no longer tied to the computer. 